And of course, Abby Ives has been doing fantastic for Connecticut, but here we go, Kelly. <laughs> we are underway as the puck is dropped and Connecticut wins that opening face off Kelly. here. As far as the Riveters, I mean, we really just want to see them have a oh, little bit. right off the get go. Sorry to interrupt you. And I think, believe no. that was Gerard. She scored in the last game uh, <laughs> on Friday and here she is again, I believe getting things started. So as you mentioned, here we go, right off the face off. A great win there by Marchman. We mentioned those two. You get another angle here and just is able to beat Makinen. Riveters faring well on this power play until that moment. Taylor Gerard with her second of the game. 14-11 to go here in the first. A power play goal for Connecticut puts them up to nothing. Speed and no one picks her up, Kelly. Look, look at this. She enters the zone and you see that that's rust there. Can't close in and tries to then go on the outside. But Gerard by then already strong on the puck and is preparing for her shot. So rust out of position. Offensive zone. Connecticut will exit. Here comes Taylor Gerard, and on the left wing side, her pass out in front. Oh, what a play there, Katrin Lonergan. That was a beautiful setup by Connecticut. They go up three nothing. That's not exactly what Riveters were hoping on that play. Uh, they try to disrupt the the passing lane with sticks there, but to no avail. They're just behind the play, and that one gets clear through on Lonergan. Makinen actually got that on the shoulder, and then it, the team in the game. And so you need a little bit more of that. But again, I'd like to see other Riveters step up to, to play that kind of game so that you open up Pelkey and Packer to score. Sam Miscavige looks short angled shot. That one driven wide. She is one Thank tough you. player to defend, that is for sure. Yeah. You mentioned shots. The Riveters Ooh. had five shots. Pelkey with a chance there, bottom of the circle, and held on to there Midi by Rice. Midi got her first uh, shutout earlier this season. But Midi Dyson, and we haven't really had to talk about her much. Obviously, the score is at zeros. Oh, what a save there by Katie Burt. Oh, and the second one will get past her. 4 nothing, Connecticut. She comes up with the first initial save. The Connecticut Whale, they shoot from distance here, but it's what Taylor Gerard talked about. You see the shot come in from deep. It ricochets to Gerard on the opposite side, who then gets another shot on Katie Burt, who has Packer to be. went off for a change. And that puck is blocked on the shot there, and here comes Connecticut back the other way. On the far side, Reyes looking for the shot. Nice stop there by Burt. And we get another whistle. I believe the goal went off of its post again. Maybe not to be OK. Exactly. And so the Riveters now are going to try and get back into this game by the strength. Oh, and that's not the way to do it. It's going to say by the strength of Packer, but it'd be the strength of Mrazova. Yes, the uh, former University of Minnesota Duluth Bulldog there putting her team up 5 nothing, just a minute seven into our third period. You see Mrazova enters with speed. Samaskevich is able to, once she sees, that's a perfect play by Samaskevich. Once she sees the defense commit to her in that moment, she knows that Mrazova has the far side. Beautiful. Oh. Very nice. Tipped aside there. Yeah, that was uh, really a beautiful jersey that they debuted, what, it was a month ago. I had the call of that Connecticut game when they debuted it. Oh, what a pass. A set up there of Mrazova putting that one away. 6 nothing Connecticut. Mrazova is so fun to watch. I was able to catch up with her as she played for Team Czechia. She also played for this Connecticut Whale team, came back to the league. But once again, Semaskevich finds Mrazova. Those two connecting. Now they have been on the line, on the same line for more or less uh, the, the. Trying to carry this one into the offensive zone. Here comes Crowley. Ah, her pass just missing again. Another missed pass. And the Riveters with a chance. Kick save made there by Reisinen in the final second. And we see that Katie Bird hasn't made her way, or didn't at all make her way, and Miri Reisinen gets the goalie hugs. 
That's they, all she uh, wrote. Six nothing win for Connecticut. It pretty much was a Taylor Gerard show here today <laughs> with four points on the day for Gerard.